Pero en, en la barra ahí tiene que salir. Está grabando. Ok. Ok, okay. hello everyone. In this opportunity, we are talking about local education in the Salvador. And the main discussion of the FTS demonstrated the consequence of the lack of education in young people in categorized the country educational system. In Spain, what is the different from other countries? If a better future can be made for education in the country. Perfect. I think this is a great topic. So we are going to discuss that. So the first question is for you, Erika. What are the okay. consequences of the lack of education in youth here in El Salvador? Okay, Jose Maria, answering this question, solving education in our country is one of the greatest challenges uh, that the government has. So let's start with the system is not favorable uh, for children in, in adolescents uh, because it has not been renewed for decades. Uh, if it is uh, world change, it favor society. At the moment, uh, young people uh, are the ones with the least education. And due to crime, uh, factor at the distance, uh, they travel to go far away uh, the student's uh, center. Adding that uh, young people have lost interest uh, in education and are looking for the easy way. Uh, this adds that they have fewer opportunities in, in the work uh, environment uh, because nowadays the companies demand to have an academic degree. So on the other hand, their economy will be less favorable in the job opportunities are few. So, and those they manage uh, to obtain a deplorable salary. So, and as a result of this is that crime increase in our country, uh, unemployment and leaders and therefore uh, this is change generationality. And also a consequent that affect us to the lack of education are premature pregnancy. So a young people uh, with little sexual education makes wrong decision. It is true, the parents should be the first educator in this area, but because of the culture they have, it is taboo. Issue when children, parents don't do this tax, the school is the second on the line of teaching about uh, sex education because this lack of education at another uh, problem to young people in society, which is poverty. So uh, it is also increased to increase uh, infant mortality in consequence, also the mother can die in childbirth. So since there are young who are not susceptible to be parents about, about all. It is important that the government creates a educational programs with nearby school, where there is a large population, improve the system, create scholarship programs too, so that uh, young people who don't attend school due to a lack of, of money, this program help them. Uh, to continue educating, then selling those avoiding all the consequences that come with the lack of education, and this will be also help our literacy a percentage a drop in will be one of the countries that bet a generational greatest opportunity for young people and through education encouraging 
they not stop studying. In how say uh, Edward Benjamin writing, learning is like rowing uh, against uh, the current. As soon as you let go, you go background. Also, I hope this uh, one day change classmate to be a better society that support young people. Uh, we we'll continue with my classmate, Freddy. And tell me, Freddy, what do you think the uh, thing the education system in the Salvador has an involvement like other country? Okay, thank you. Good, good, good evening. Can you hear me? Good yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. Okay, one, two, one, two. Okay, now the microphone is on. Okay. Uh, uh, that student, Sophia, well, so we need to compare our education system with the education of another country to have a better view of why we've been stuck at the same point. Singapore, for example, has one of the best education systems around the world nowadays. What they do was a reform to change and meet international standards. And that is what we hear in El Salvador. I think a reform, a change of 360 degrees where all the students can access to quality education, but the children don't even have the correct infrastructure. Many schools in El Salvador lack electricity educational material, books, laptops, and what's more, access to the internet. Yet, we are in the 21st century, and there are schools here in our country that don't even have potable water. All the government that we have in the past didn't invest in our children. They stole the funds that could have been contributed to fill in all the needs, all the needs I mentioned before. Lee, there seems to be because this government is doing what the others never did. The key word he is investing in education to provide the tools to the learners for them to use in the process. We need also to train teachers utilizing technology and let them know that they will do what they will affect positively or negatively in the lives of the children. The reason why our education system hasn't evolved is corruption. Tough love that the corruption doesn't, doesn't occur again. With all the suspected money that was supposed, supposed to be invested in education, what could have, have we done with all of that money? Maybe our kids will have books, laptops, the teacher will have uh, enough ped pedagogical material, and also with the constructions of new schools. I bet. I bet that we are in a different situation. The people in their previous governments could have done the right things. Uh, okay, this is my participation. Now I give the floor to uh, my next, the next classmate, uh, uh, Jose Maria, right? Yes. So what's okay. your, your question? Uh, See, let, give me give me a second. Uh, okay, Jose Maria, we would like to we would like to hear to, we would like to listen to you. Uh, what are some effects from of education in El Salvador? Okay, perfect. So I will be a little brief because you have been talking a lot about this, but I think the lack of education in El Salvador brings direct effects to the population. As Erika said, this problem lies with youth because they are the ones that don't see opportunities. So
So Jews are the first people who don't get the opportunity to get education. So most of the effects are related to opportunities to enroll in university because of economic issues in the country, as you said before. As we see, there is a national university in El Salvador, but to get there is difficult for some guys that don't have a good scores or if they don't pass the admission exam. On the other hand, to enroll to a private university is a little expensive. So it has to be with the position to give education to youth. Without youth, without education, we cannot develop. As effects, we see unemployed people because they don't have a degree, even if they have experience on their duties. Also, there are people migrating because the country does not have opportunities or the country does not develop. Education is the key to development. And as a final result, we see poverty in the country and a lot of social problems related to gangs and robs. So this is a very structural problem. So I think uh, we have discussed a lot about this and the audience could listen, could listen to this because it's a very structural problem. As you said before, there are other effects. And the main thing is that the economy is very bad in the country. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Sofia. Thank you, Jose. Uh, thank you, we want to thank you for spending. We want to thank you for your time with us. I hope that you, that the spoken information will help up in the analysis of one of the great problems on the, in El Salvador. The way we are going to be able to change this education and system in the future benefits from the teachers and from our society. So, we all, would you like to say something, guys? Yes, I think uh, if we want to change the educational system, we should change the people who are in politics because when we are having the same people, we are having the same problem. So it is a structural problem. So we should change our politicians because they make decisions, but I think they have been doing that in a wrong way. Thanks. That's right. Thanks, classmate. Okay. Uh, okay, that's all. I'm going to start the recording. Bye. <laughs>